All right, let's talk a little bit about the display features of the trial line, or what we call the rendered view. So we're going to go into view, and this here is the, again, the list view. This is a list of every single event in our trial line. And when we hit view trial line from here, we see what we call the rendered view. So when we get to the rendered view, it usually starts out, depending on how many events you have, it's, it's pretty crowded. So there are a number of ways to spread this out. For me, the fastest is if you have a mouse with a wheel on it, you can simply wheel the wheel the mouse in or wheel the mouse out and that will spread the events or bring the events back together. The second way to do it is to use your up, down, left, and right arrow keys. So right now I'm going to take my mouse, I'm just going to put it up here for the moment, and I'm going to go to my keyboard I'm going to hit up. And you can see as I hit up, it bunches everything together. The faster I hit it, the faster the bunch. And then as I hit down, you can see it'll spread things apart. So if I'm in one area of my trial line and I want to get a nice clean view, I can go to the right arrow key and it'll bring me to the right. I can go left, it'll bring me back to the left. If I'm in an area where I want a little more space, I just hit down. And if I want to bring events closer together, I hit up. So when I'm using trial line personally, this is, this is the way I navigate the screen as I like to use my arrow keys. It just feels faster. You can also come over here and use these plus and minus keys, and this will basically serve the same function as the up and down arrow key on your keyboard or the wheel on your mouse to spread images up and down. And with the mouse you can grab inside here, kind of like if you were using your finger on an iPad, you can grab inside the background and pull things towards you. And we've got to the end of our trial line, so we're going to go the other way. And let's also look down here at this scroll bar. So what we have here is groups of events. So that you'll, you'll notice that this never changes, but it populates one of the little trial line category icons wherever there's an event. And if we hover over it, we'll see that this event is called June 16, 2015, right knee operation surgery. So let's say I want to get right to that event. Well, the first thing I can do is I can simply click on it, and that will bring the event to the center of my screen. Just like this physical therapy appointment, if I click on it, it'll bring it to the center of my screen. I can also, with my mouse, grab this slider and just slide around to different groupings of events. And the reason that we put this here is sometimes there's a grouping of a specific category that an attorney would like to see relatively quickly. And in this case, if the attorney wants to see uh, physical therapy sessions and knows that they always code their physical therapy sessions green, they can say, oh, I see a grouping of physical therapy sessions here. I can either click on over to it, let's go and click back, or I can take my slider and drag it over to that area. And then here I can see, oh yeah, indeed there's a group of physical therapy um, sessions. Let's take a look at those. So those are the ways to navigate around the rendered display to make it more useful and easier to see and to help you find events quickly.